Catherine and Gina. Yeah, babies! <laughs> They're so psyched. I love them. I'm so envious of their energy. <laughs> uh, okay, so Gina tried the piggyback rider. She is a climber. She loves to climb all over Mama and any other human that's taller than her. How'd she do it with the piggyback rider? <laughs> <laughs> we thought the piggyback rider was, it was fun, it was cool. It was just very complicated to get on and to get her, like, her harness on the right way. And there was a lot of straps, so. <laughs> when she got her in there, did she have as much fun as she's yeah, having yeah. yelling at Liam? Once <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Who knows, maybe that's when Harry met Sally right there. <laughs> so once you got it all situated. Once I got her in and she was like securely in it, then it was good. And was she it did like on it. Your back? Like, it yes, it definitely was. Absolutely. It definitely was easy on your back. It was just complicated. Sure, this the the uh, test? Yes. So what I liked about this is that exactly what she said, it helps distribute the weight. So when you have people like me, for example, who are small and you're putting a child on your back, all the weight, all the strain is at the neck. Um, what I think specifically with this is very helpful, the first few times, I think it's helpful to have somebody else assisting you with putting it on, with you get strapping the a child, it. until you get the hang of it. I watched the video online about this and it, they made it look that simple because obviously they've done it a they bunch practiced, of times. Yeah. Exactly, but I like the fact that it's safer for your neck. It's safer for the child because at one point while we were testing it, the child decided to step off, but she was still strapped on. So it alleviates some of the risk that's there. Right. It's good for the kids and yeah. good for the parents. Yeah. We're two for two. I'm loving Excellent. this. Okay.